Welcome back from the break. It's still a new day and uh, this morning we'll be discussing leadership. Uh, leadership uh, plays out in many uh, areas of our lives from business to the homes to even our religious institutions and helping us to understand better how uh, leadership can be applied in our business so that we reap uh, better results as leaders in uh, our various uh, positions uh, is Samuel Ayim from the Center for Transformational Leadership. How are you doing this morning? Thank you, Crystal, and good morning to our viewers. Good morning, amazing. Uh, I'd like you to help me with this one. Some schools of thought say that um, leaders are born and not taught. Do you agree with this? <laughs> uh, my, one of my mentors will say, everybody is born. <laughs> <laughs> so in a sense, yes. Um, and when people ask this question, the idea is uh, whether there are some people who've got it, who by nature, are leaders mm. and others who by nature cannot be leaders. Um, it is true, um, each of us have special dispositions and endowments, natural. So there are some people who have natural tendencies to be able to lead, to decide, to direct and influence. They mm. have that. But studies have also shown that every one of us can be trained okay. to lead. Okay, so whereas it's easier for people, some people to lead mm -hmm. um, and more difficult for others, each one of us, if we're given the right opportunities, the right training, the right coaching, can lead. Mm -hmm. And that is the evidence that is on the ground. There are some people who felt, oh, I cannot take this, I cannot lead. But with a little support, with encouragement, you see that they begin to flourish and they do even better. Even better. How difficult is it to train uh, people to become leaders, especially those that you say don't have that naturally? I think the big challenge is from the question you asked, when people have the attitude that, oh, it is for others mm. and not for me. Yes. So that's the first hurdle, the mindset, the attitude that we need to get right. And, and if we don't get the mindset right, then the work becomes difficult. <laughs> so that's a big hurdle. And Actually, the biggest hurdle for us is the concept of leadership that all of us actually grapple with. Okay. A lot of us grab, uh, think that leadership is a position, it's mm. a title. So we find in the corporate environment, people fighting over titles, over mm. positions, and miss the point that leadership is not about positions, okay. it's about people and about your ability to influence and guide people to a certain destination. And also leadership involves adding value to people. So that mindset is the biggest challenge to training people. Because as long as people hold that view that it's a position, position. it gets to a position and they feel comfortable. Exactly. And they don't add any value to the organization. They don't add any value to the nation. They don't mm -hmm. add any value to the people. And they just sit there and are expecting all the goodies, all the benefits, Indeed. and that has nothing to do with leadership. Leadership at all. Interesting. Yeah. So um, what, 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 why is it so important to teach people these leadership principles, the various leadership principles? It is capital. It's absolutely important. Because as uh, John Maxwell would say, everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm, how so? We, 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 let's take our nation. We, we, we are happy to go to Dubai. We to talk about Singapore, people mm. fighting to queue to go to America and mm. other places. There are some organizations in this country that a lot of people are fighting to go work for, and so on. Yeah. Why are people going there? If you look at it, the bottom line is that these organizations, these nations, have had leadership that has transformed these nations. Whereas those countries where we're running away from mm -hmm. have had leadership. They may have all the resources like we do, in our country, all the resources. But the missing link is the quality of leadership to transform the resources we have to better the lives of the people. And that is why leadership becomes so crucial. You know, mm -hmm. if you believe the Bible, it says when bad leaders rule, mm -hmm. people hide. And that is the point. But when good leaders rule, people rejoice. And that is why it is critical for us to train leaders. Wow. So in that light, how do you develop um, leaders to maximize the resources uh, in our various businesses to be better leaders in our country? All right. I think for us as a nation, one of the things I've talked about over is that we need to begin to recognize, first of all, the importance of leadership. Okay. And begin to inculcate this 
leadership concept and training from our basic schools. Okay. Okay? I mean, today we are discussing so many okay. things that has to be taught in the in basic, basic school. school. If you ask okay. me if there is one thing that we have to begin teaching mm -hmm. there, is leadership. leadership. Unfortunately, all of us will go and learn law, accounting, and nobody teaches you leadership. Yeah. But it is crucial. The second thing is modeling. Those of us who have opportunities to lead have to be good examples. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because as long as we see around us bad examples of leaders, corruption, leaders we respect, who says all sorts of things yeah. the children are picking. So that is crucial. So inculcating the principles from the basic throughout our university and all fields, yeah. and also modeling the right principles in our adults yeah. at home, at business, at the religious level, at the political level, that, those are the two pillars which we need to get right. Interesting. Um, now, uh, someone says that uh, true leaders don't create followers. They create more leaders. How feasible is this? How does this play out? Now, uh, no, leaders grow. Okay. So when you start off as a leader, mm -hmm. you know, the influence you have would bring followers. But as you grow on your leadership ladder, you should get to a level where you are going to grow more leaders. Okay. In other words, you should grow leaders to take over from you. And the best leader is the one who is able to train others to work him out of his job. Oh, okay. <laughs> then you have succeeded as a true leader. Mm. So it's not enough to just have people saying, yes, I'm answer to you all the yes. time and you feel comfortable. But you have to get to a point where you are so comfortable that people are even better than you mm -hmm. and they can take over from you. Because if you're not there and the work is not done and you feel so important that because I'm not there, yes. then you fail. That's mm -hmm. not leadership. That is, if I understand that point, that is the essence of essence that of statement. It. So leadership helps you to build other, create other leaders to be able to take up other yeah. um, positions and handle other responsibilities. Exactly. Amazing. You've, ha you've held uh, many uh, training sessions to bring up leaders. Do you have any big events coming up? Yes, uh, we have a big event coming up we call the Leave to Lead. Mm. And this will be our third edition uh, of Leave to Lead. Okay. Leave to Lead is actually an international uh, conference mm -hmm. held by the world number one leadership expert, John Maxwell. Yeah. And uh, we've got the right to broadcast it live. And we've done this for the, uh, the, the third time this yeah. year uh, coming up. And the purpose of this is to spend a day with people who have made it as leaders, mm. like John Maxwell, yeah. and who have achieved in their respective fields, to share their experiences and to give us some ideas of how they made it, mm -hmm. so that we too, whether, whatever level you are, whether you are at the peak of your leadership or yeah. your beginning, you will be able to pick some ideas that you can go to your office and work with it. Mm. And that is Live to Lead coming up lead. Um, this Thursday, it's Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Okay. Uh, so on the Thursday we have uh, what we call the VIP business networking dinner session. Okay. And uh, we will have um, Nana and Sam Kwao, okay. uh, who will speak to us on the theme of leading from everywhere. Okay. And uh, you know he's a chief exactly. and he's made some significant changes and mm -hmm. uh, development in his own village. Yeah. And we believe that everybody can lead from anywhere you are. Mm. And that idea has to come to all of us. Sometimes when there are issues, we are looking to the president, yeah. the CEO. Yeah. But so not, we no, the power we all have the power something. to do something to influence change. Mm. And on Thursday, we'll have an international simulcast, which has been simulcast across over 30 countries mm. in 300 locations across the world. Okay. It's very big. And over 40,000 people already registered yeah. oh, to, wow. to, to, to participate in Live to Lead. 40,000. 40,000 already registered across the world. Wow. And so we are privileged uh, in Ghana and, and, and we are humble as Center for Transformational Leadership to be able to bring this to, to our people mm -hmm. and to our nation. And we, we encourage uh, everybody to, 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 be, to, to be a of part it. of it. To be a part of it. I'm sure there are, there are costs involved as well uh, yes. to purchase tickets. We need tickets to be able to attend. Exactly. You need okay. tickets to be able to attend. And let me share with you. Okay. The minimum that people are paying mm -hmm. to participate in this in Atlanta is $250. Okay. And even that, they would 
not go near the stage. <laughs> well, <laughs> they will still be watching from, from yes. giant screens. Yeah. And we will be having the same experience yeah. for a fraction. Oh, wow. The VIP session, which starts on Thursday mm -hmm. and includes the Friday, and the dinner and all that, yeah. is only 500 Ghana cities. Interesting. And then for the regular ticket, mm -hmm. which is gives you entry into only the Friday a simulcast, mm -hmm. is only 200 Ghana cities. Okay. We have made room for students because we believe that we need to inculcate this into our younger generation. Yeah. And that is only for 100 uh, Ghana, Ghana cities. cities. So f for our viewers who are watching and would like to contact you for tickets, uh, how do we um, contact you? Uh, you can uh, contact um, us. My number is 54 Zero seven mm -hmm. zero eight four three three. Okay. If you call this number, we would uh, attend to you. But you can also go online, okay. ctl-africa.com, okay. and you can get more information about Live to Lead and about the Center for Transformational Leadership in our programs. And you can register online. You can pay by mobile money, and you can also pay by bank transfer. All the information is also it's available. Also available. On Thank our you website. so much. Thank you so much. I've been speaking to uh, Samuel Ayim from the Center of Tran Transformational Leadership, who's been making uh, you know a significant change uh, throughout the country. So yes, um, the Live to Lead is happening uh, this Thursday, the 10th of October, at 7 p.m. at the Aliza Hotel. You don't want to miss out on it, so that you can also make an impact wherever you find yourself.